Hey girls, it's Alexa again here with Jamberry Nails. I just wanted to show you guys real quick a couple tips and tricks that I use to apply some sparkle wraps. This is also good for metallic wraps. Um, normally in a sheet, you will get a full sheet of 18 wraps. These are the ones that I commonly use for my fingers and these are the ones that I use for my toes. Now I will go over in another video how to um, cut these up so they can be a great pedicure, but these ones are the ones that I usually use for my hands. So I have enough for 10 wraps, for 10 fingers, and a few extra accent nails, which is always fun to mix and match my, um, my sheets, which is something I often do if you've ever seen any of my manicures or my videos. Um, but today, we're not going to use this. We are going to use Pink Style Box 2015 Jamberry. Yeah. If you don't have a style box, I think you need to get it because it's awesome. It's like Christmas every month in your mailbox. So this is one of the sheets um, in our January style box. I only have a half sheet right now because one of my friends gave this to me just to try out while mine is on its way. Anyways, I already put one on as you can see. Isn't that pretty and shiny? I love pink so this is perfect for me. And um, what I did was I buffed gently. And then, you know, after pushing back my cuticles and removing my cuticle, um, the invisible cuticle with some cuticle remover, pushed back those cuticles, I applied some strengthening base coat because as you can see, my nails are extremely curvy and they're basically like ends. Um, so what I often get when I don't apply my strengthening base coat is bubbling around the edges right around here. So in order to avoid that, I have just been using this because this is awesome. <laughs> there are just no words for it. Our strengthening base coat has infused with horsetail plant extract, so it's actually good for your nails, which is awesome. Anywho, moving on to the actual application. Um, some of my friends say, hey, can you show me that hair spray trick and you know I've used it for my daughter and the wraps have actually lasted on my four-year-old for four weeks. I'm pretty sure they lasted longer than the four weeks but for sure the four weeks and that's pretty cool. So we're gonna show you today. What you're gonna need is a bottle of hairspray doesn't matter what brand just you know anything and I'm gonna of course my middle finger sorry guys. <laughs> we're gonna just spray a little bit right on there. Wait for it to dry just a little bit. You don't want to put the wrap right on top of it right after you've, you know, sprayed it. And you're going to take your manicure scissors and you're going to take the wrap that best fits. Now I already know that this is the wrap that fits best for my middle finger just because it's just how it is. Now if you, when you're sizing these wraps, make sure that you don't go too big. You don't want it touching your skin or your cuticles. So if you're not sure, go a size smaller. Now I know this is for my ring finger. This is for my middle finger. This is for my pointer finger. As you can see, ta-da! <laughs> and this one is for my pinky. So then I have this one. And this one's my thumb. So this one would be extra as an accent. I couldn't even cut that up for the rest of my toes if for whatever reason these two are not enough. Anyways, moving on. Cutting that wrap in half. As you can see, cutting it right in half. You don't want to touch the wraps with your fingers because you don't want that cuticle oil, I mean that oil from your skin to get onto the wraps. So you take your wrap, this is it, shiny side, sticky side. I put the sticky side next to the heater and in a second you'll see how it kind of curled up. That's how you know that it's ready to be applied. So I'm going to put this down a little bit so you guys can see better. Putting this as close as you can to your cuticle without actually getting on the cuticle. So now it's on there. Wonky looking and everything. Just put it in front of the heater again real quick. Take your purple cuticle pusher with this thing. It's amazing. If you don't want have one, you need one. They come in our awesome application kits with or without oil. Um, anyways, you need one, so I'm putting this back in here because I'm wonky. And then we'll take the 
pusher, and you're going to go down the center. So I'm going to go all the way down, and then I'm going to push out. So I'm going to go from cuticle out, cuticle out, cuticle out. Now this one was a little bit too big for one side of my nail. So as you can see, it's just a little bit too big over here. So I'm going to take my manicure scissors and I'm going to cut around just so I can get a great size. A little more heat. Push down. And just put lots of pressure, especially around these um, curves, just to make sure you have a good seal because you don't you don't want a bad seal. That'll cause lifting and then, yeah, just not fun. So see, easily fixed. See how it's just a smidgen of nail showing on each side. Now, next trick. Once that's been applied, I like to use something called the baggy method. I did not come up with it. Um, I saw this when I first was applying my wraps and I absolutely loved it. All you need is a ta -da, Ziploc bag. And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the Ziploc bag around your nail so that the excess goes down. And then twist it and then hold it in front of a handy dandy heater. Now some people say, how is it you're doing this without burning yourself? Because this is pretty hot but the baggie will distribute and disperse that heat so that way it's not only getting heat but it's also getting pressure at the same time and of course if it hurts don't keep it there you know how much you can take so I just like to do that and see how that just bent over like that so we're almost ready what I like to do is to finish the rest of my hand and then go back and file it off. But because we're doing a quick video, I'm just going to do it right now. So shh, don't tell anybody. What normally you want to do is go up, I mean from up to down filing motion. You don't want to go up, you don't want to do this. You want to go this. And you do not want to go side to side. The reason that I tell you this is because Otherwise, the wraps will catch on the file and start lifting, and then you've broken your seal. So then you're more likely to get snags and other fun stuff down the road. If you want your wraps to last, do not file those with just downward motion. Now, because I am a creature of habit and use my nails as tools, I like to file at a 45 degree angle versus the Jamboree method of 90 degrees. So that basically leaves a little sliver of nail showing. I'll show you right now. And you don't want to file it too much. You just want to file enough to get the wrap, the excess of the wrap off your nail. If you file too much, again, wraps will lift, and that's just not fun. So now I'm going to put this back here so I can reseal it. And then, again, just to make sure that I have a great seal, I'm going to put this baby back over here. And ta da, cuticle pusher. Around. And just because I didn't do it for the first time, I'm going to do it for my index finger as well. Just to make sure I have a great seal because I want these wraps to last. I mean, these specifically are exclusive wraps. You're not going to be able to buy them. You cannot buy them in the catalog. So I really, really want these to last. And they're really pretty and sparkly. So, yeah. So there you have it. Two wraps. Using the hairspray method and the baggy method, as well as filing at a 45 degree angle. Now some people ask me how do you not get burned using the hair dryer. 
I'm going to be honest with you, I have never used a hair dryer to apply my wraps. I signed up as soon as I got my first set of wraps, and with my first set of wraps, I used a space heater because I live in Ohio and it gets cold in the winter. So you always have space heaters, even in the summer, because they're just there. So I went to my garage and I grabbed one. Now, we have these handy dandy mini heaters. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's on. See if you can look at my hair. It's blowing. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very, very quiet. Right now my kids are asleep. So I cannot use a hair dryer because that will wake them up. This thing is very quiet. Now it's off. You can't hear it. And it's more compact. So this cord comes off and fits into your, it actually fits into our application kit with all our application tools. So I just plop it right on in when I'm ready to go. The cord and everything. Everything's all in the same bag so I can just pull it all out. So if you don't have that here, I highly recommend it. But anyways, back to the hair dryer. I had a question about how you not burn yourself with the hair dryer. Well, the thing is that when you're heating up the wrap, um, you don't want the hair dryer facing you. Of course, you want it facing that. But you also want to use tweezers or something so the wrap doesn't go flying off. Because unfortunately, some hair dryers are very, very strong and are meant to blow hair. So it wouldn't be a surprise if the wrap blew. But um, there's also the, ba the rice bag method, which again, it's not something that I use. I love having my little heater around. But I will do a video with the, one of those soon. So keep an eye out. Um, if you have, you know, any questions or anything, please let me know. If you have a great consultant, which I'm sure, if you have a consultant, she is great. So there's no doubt about that. But if you don't have a great consultant or a consultant at all, I'm sorry, um, please let me know and I'd be happy to help you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or email me. My email is jamminghwithalexa at gmail.com. Feel free to look down below to see all the awesome wraps and the designs and all our hand care and um, nail care products. If you would like to host a party, I would be honored to be a consultant hosting your party. Just go ahead and go to my website, alexandrabeltran.jamberynails.com, or .net, I'm sorry, it's .net, and go to host and then fill out all that fun information. Jamberry will send me an email notification and I will then get in contact with you. So I hope that this little, you know, video was helpful. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to post. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a great night and keep on jamming.